Hey everyone, Christopher Beast here, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about Adam and what changes I think will be occurring with him as a character following the events of the Season 11 cassettes. This will only contain spoilers for the first cassette. So, let's get right into this. First things first, let's quickly cover what happened to Adam during the cassettes. He only appears in the first cassette where he attempts to rob Freya. He was ambushed by Freya, however, and she beats him up in combat. He lost his cassette and she stole them from him, but he was apparently quite injured during this fight. Um, Freya's claim she won. Um, we know he didn't die because Freya regrets that she didn't kill him in later cassettes. So someone doesn't regret something if they did it. So he is alive. Um, but how will this event change Adam? Well, the physical wounds he sustained from Freya and his fight are likely not going to be a big deal and will likely be healed by Ark, seeing as he was able to survive the wounds he took from fighting Lars. These wounds really should be easy to fix in comparison. I mean, Lars put bullet holes in him. Freya had a rock. Um, the knife to his back might be a slight problem. However, in all in all, I really think the next time we see Adam, he will be fully healed or mostly healed, maybe with some minor issues. Um, the main point of interest for us is really how this will change his ideologies as a person. First things first, Adam's motives are defined as wanting to reestablish society at any cost, an ideology he developed mainly in part due to his deceased lover Helga's wishes. However, I doubt he ever thought he would have to come to blows with children. Children are something that represent the future of society, the very thing Ark and him are fighting for. It may cause a conflict in his ideology and cause him to challenge whether the route he is taking is the correct one. In the long run, this may make him less idealistic than he was in the original cassettes and more gritty and grounded in reality, which all in all may make him a more interesting character. Or we could take a very negative route with this and make him even more idealistic, viewing the death of children as a necessary evil. I really hope the devs don't take that route because, in my eyes, Adam was almost intolerable already. Making him a zealot would be too far. But, continuing on, we could possibly see him wanting to be protective of Freya. If he ever gets the cassettes back and hears what she said, he may take sympathy with her, seeing as she views him as a friend and she suffers from isolation and this want of camaraderie. He may also want to protect her, perhaps in a desire to build that dream family he wanted with Helga so much, seeing her as a way for him to achieve the family as, you know, his child or his someone he protects, um, to protect the future he wants to see in a more literal fashion by protecting a child. Um, the next point of interest is what Adam's response to Freya robbing him will likely be. Adam cares about almost nothing more than he cares about his cassettes, and if those are the top of his priorities, he will stop at nothing to get them back. I believe Adam in the future cassettes will put aside his desire to restore humanity for a little bit and really stop working for Ark for a tiny bit to instead focus on going on a mission to retrieve the cassettes, which he views as his because they are. Um, this means that Adam likely will lead an Ark strike team south to chase after Freya and to take the cassette back from whoever ends up having them, which will likely put him at odds with whoever the protagonist of next season's cassettes is, as I doubt they would willingly hand them over to him. Um, so really expect to see Adam in a more uh, enemy type view, more antagonistic uh, approach, kind of like how he was in this season to Freya. Um, however, regardless of what faction tries to match him, I'm pretty sure Ark and Adam will defeat them. Um, seeing as they are, Ark, you know, Ark is ex-military and they are way better organized, way better equipped than any other group we've seen so far. So I really don't think any other faction in the war at the moment could stand up against Adam who wants his cassettes back. Um, the concept, all in all, of Adam shifting his focus to reclaiming what is his and for him to be more of a gritty character should make him feel less like the annoying idealist and more like someone who has to actually deal with the hard waste of the apocalypse. So I'm really hopeful that is the Adam we get to see in season 12 because, or going into the future. And if that is, I'm really excited for post-season 11, Adam, because... It will show growth of character into a character that's more interesting, frankly, than the uh, Season 10 Adam that we got. But those are my thoughts on what the future of Adam will be in the cassettes. I'm curious to see what your guys' thoughts are. But until next time, this has been Crystal Beast, and I hope to see you all next time.